Okay, good morning everybody. My name is Ian Fleming. Um, today I want to talk to you about the uh, St. Baldrick's Foundation, which is a foundation that raises money to help end childhood cancer. Um, before I delve into the uh, into the organization, I want to introduce you to somebody very special to me. This is Ellie Rolfs. Um, Ellie is very special to me. I've known her family ever since I was born. I was there for when her older sister was born and when she was born. When she was two, she was diagnosed with cancer. They found a Wilms tumor about the size of a softball in her pelvic region. When they had to do multiple surgeries to take care of it, took it out. And um, she was clean for about two years. And then back in 2009, which this picture was taken, it came back. And she lost all her hair. The, the whole family was going through a huge, huge problem. So like that. And this is how I first heard about St. Baldrick's, was through her. St. Baldrick's is an organization which, like I said, tries to end childhood cancer. Um, a few facts for you. Every year, about 13,400 children are diagnosed with cancer. Of these 13,400 children, one in 300 boys will be diagnosed, and one in 333 girls will be diagnosed with some type of cancer. Now, what St. Baldrick's does, a little history behind it, it was, started, it was founded in 2000 by three colleagues who wanted to give back to the community. And the way they thought by doing this was shaving their heads and raising money to help support childhood cancer. The first event was held in Boston in 2000, and they thought they'd only have like you know 17 people show up, 17 people shave their heads. They only get like maybe $500. They had 19 people show up and raise over $104,000 for childhood cancer. Now I started back in 2000, back in 2011. This is me and my mom with Ellie, and we shaved our heads to help support the family and show that we do care. And this was really hard for us to do because not everybody is willing to shave their heads. You know, it's really self-conscious. You want to go out, you know, go out for the ball for the first time. It can, be, it can be very scary. So how can you get involved with this? <coughs> what you can do is you, you visit stbaldrix.org. You, know, you go to their website, and you can look for special, certain events. You know, there's events around the area. You can search by city, state, event name. Like I said, you can search for the event. You can sign up to be a shady, and you can get your head shaved, or you can donate. I highly suggest that you do do the shady thing. It's very supportive to everybody. Girls do it. Guys do it. It's it's awesome when girls do it, because I mean, <laughs> not used to seeing that. So. But you don't have to shave your head. I mean, you can just cut your hair, like kind of like Locks for Love, stuff like that. You just cut your hair, you know, short, or you can shave your head like we did. Um, definitely, if you can't, if you don't want to shave your head, I encourage you guys to definitely donate to the cause. Um, the more money you can get the better off we are. The way the donations work, once you sign up, you can either sign up to be a shady or donate, or donate on the website, and St. Baldrick will send you a little packet with like different stats and stuff for um, childhood cancer. And in that packet comes a little envelope. And you can, and there's different flyers in this envelope. Go out, friends, family, neighbors, whoever you can get, pass it out, tell them what you're doing, tell them what the cause is for, and just do it, you know? Try to get as much money as you can, because this is, this is a big thing, you know? Kids are our livelihood, they are, and they don't have, you mean, there's not, there's not a lot of options for kids with cancer. You know, there's the Make-A-Wish Foundation out there and stuff like that. But it's very tough, especially on the families. You know, somebody who's two years old, like Ellie was, 
and she going through this stuff, you know, especially for her sister. Her sister was just absolutely devastated. Did the did the most to try and help her out, get through this. It was very hard. But through the St. Baldur's Foundation, you can either join a team, you know, join, a, join an event, join a team, or you can go in solo. I definitely recommend doing, doing a team, you raise more money that way. But if you want to go in solo, you can. Like I said, talk to friends, family, co-workers, anybody to try to help raise money for this stuff. It's very beneficial. Going back to Ellie, this is Ellie Ross today. She is now eight years old. Cancer-free and a very happy third grader. I see her every every so often, full of life, and it's just awesome, awesome to see. So I highly encourage you guys to go out, look at the website, find an event near you. Most of these events happen in March, you know, with St. Patrick's Day and everything like that. But they can range from you know March through summer, any any time. If you can find an event, and they're worldwide too. If you're you want to go to Vegas to do them, they're everywhere. So I highly encourage you to go out, join a team, make a donation, go get your head shaved if you're brave enough. And I, I honestly think you should be because if these kids are able to lose their hair and go about their daily lives doing what they do, then why not us? Why you get a cool t-shirt too? <laughs> <laughs> so like I said, one more time, go out, Donate your hair, donate money, find an event, and be part of this solution. And who knows, maybe your donation will be the one that finally finds the cure. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> what does our distinguished panel of experts have to say about Mr. Fleming? You had a bit of a problem with uh, your... Uh,